In this video, we're going to be discussing importance of detailing, how to detail, when to detail and what to detail. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description. Let's get started. Hey guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and let's have a chat while we're modeling, okay? When you're modeling something, you need to start with a block out. That's really important. It's like building the skeleton, building the foundation. Without foundation, everything crumbles, okay? So when you're going to start modeling and then you start detailing immediately a specific area. So let's say if I, you know, grab this shape and uh, let's say I wanted to, you know, I don't know, cut something here in the middle or maybe add something, right? So I'm going to press J and just, you know, join that. I'm going to grab this cutter here and I'm going to bevel this, uh, these edges here. So control B, right? And then I'm going to apply scale here and I'm going to bevel these, right? So I'm starting to get some basic feel of this shape, right? And if I started to detailing this immediately, you know, let's say I went here and started to create some tiny little details, then you're losing the entire sort of a kind of like a bird's eye view of the whole model, right? What you need to do is you need to finish your block out. This is very important. So, you know, get a battle going on here so you can see the shapes a bit better and keep, you know, trying to establish a basic form of what you you know what you're trying to model and this is really essential okay i know it's tempting to go into details immediately but it's a very bad idea okay and eventually you will understand why but try to force yourself to kind of think on a larger scale first okay you know um, get the foundations done get the basic idea done first okay so let's just you know keep slicing you're gonna be creating something abstract here i don't even know what it is i don't care to be honest I'm just, you know, riffing here, okay? So let's just grab this and maybe create another cut here. You see, I'm just creating very kind of generic and sort of large scale cuts and, and uh, you know, shapes, right? So for example, let me show you right here on this edge, we can run a bevel, okay? So when we're going to apply this, we're gonna be able to run a nice bevel here on this edge and make it kind of um, look like it was welded, okay? So, you know, uh, that's really cool. Here on the top, we could, you know, add something as well. So you could just grab like a basic um, cut here, G, Y, and move it in here. And we could just kind of project it through like this, right? And press J and apply this. And have something like this here. We could cut this here on the top so it's not so, sorry, on the bottom. So it's not so tall. There we go. Grab another circle and cut it through like this. And then we can slice this one here as well. Okay. So we could just slice this here. Right. So now you see what I've done. I've created the concentration of mid details here. Right. We have a lot of cuts, curves, planar shifts. Right. And now I want to move to the back and do something in this area because, you know, this area needs a little bit of attention. Right. So I'm going to apply this operation smart apply. Right. And I'm going to grab here uh, this one and create a, uh, a chamfer and I'm going to turn off loop slide. Okay, so turn it off and I'm going to um, alt exit to the bottom here on this one. What I want to do is I want to run the chamfer as well. Smaller one here. We're going to run the bevel. Okay, all right. That's quite thick. All right, that's pretty cool. Alt X. Now on this one, I want to run the chamfer as well. So click, alt, click and small chamfer. You need to uh, play with the sizes. OK, that's important, you know, just like in real life. You know what I mean? A hot, small neighbor moves in. You play with her. Yeah, a big German chicks moves in. You know, you're paying attention. Do you know what I mean? You're vigilant. You're taking care of your uh, neighborhood. <laughs> All right, here, uh, let's just run a, a chamfer, right? We could run a bigger one or actually smaller one like this, okay? And then we need to adjust the bevel, right? So let's just adjust the bevel, okay? Cool. And now look at this shape. So we got this concentration here. We could, for example, add some bottom here. So uh, we could grab a cube, scale it, and scale it on X and move it in here, right? And scale it a bit more, scale it on X. 
and cut it from the top here because we don't need this part and we're just going to use this one okay so you know um bullions and union and uh, let's just grab this cutter and you know bevel it maybe this is a little bit too big so gg and move it in here and we're going to cut it okay so let's grab uh let's grab this one and apply this operation small apply and we're going to grab this one and you know maybe cut it here like this okay let me see that just sharpen that and maybe gg within here altex grab grab these two and bevel them altex again grab this one loop select with a machine mesh machine and you know chef at the bottom and there you go and you got something here in the bottom and we gotta have some kind of uh you know like i don't know maybe some two cylinders sticking out so let's grab a cylinder and let's make it 40 and rx 90 and scale it down and move it in here and make it smaller right put it in here okay and sharpen this and maybe move it in here and then bullions and uh, union we're gonna mirror this to the other side and you know apply this okay so operations and you know smart apply right and then we can grab these you know we can share for them we can insert them and, and extrude them okay so we got this kind of a you know very simple device right and you got concentration of medita here concentration here and now is the stage to start putting smaller details okay now it's the time right i could also add some kind of like a you know uh, element here so let's just grab them um, let's grab a plane go to vert shift one g um, move it here to the middle more or less right and then we're gonna go e z right here go like this and then let's just go on an angle here and e z down alt x okay let's just grab these first and then let's just grab let's just grab this one alt text and then we're going to go with uh, mesh tools and curve extract right and then press s to smooth it and you get something like this right so you see the thing is that i'm kind of building off of the shapes that i'm seeing so if i create something i kind of move on to the next stage and add more elements and i see if it's working together or not right but then you can clearly see that you have a concentration of details here concentration of mid details here and a beautiful empty space in the, in the you know on the bottom so if i started to add small elements here it would just ruin the the cleanness of this empty space of the of the negative space right you want to create clusters so now if i wanted to add more details i would be adding them around these areas okay so for example, I could go in here and create tiny cuts in here, right? I mean, really tiny, right? You know, something like this and grab a circle, uh, grab a cut here like this, okay? Shift T, taper it, apply this, okay? And you see you're getting concentration here. Here we could have some great or like a, a vent, whatnot, some, some clip, you know, added with decals. We can mirror to the other side. Same here, we could have some elements here. So, for example, we have a wedge, uh, a wedge cut, you know, uh, going like this, right? And we're going to have to move it um, up a little bit because it's a bit too deep. So, GZ and, you know, move it up here. And you get a nice wedge cut and it's on the other side smeared. And you see you got like creating a concentration of smaller details on this side. And the same we're going to do here, okay? So, for instance, what I could do is I could recover this cutter, right? So, Shift, Alt, H and Shift, 2. And grab this cutter here and uh, we're going to shift D that and scale it so let me just scale this here like this and scale it on on Y axis a little bit kind of like that and control a and apply scale we could technically fix the bevel here to fit it a bit better yeah like this and uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it a bit higher okay and we're gonna solidify it, okay, like this. And we're going to uh, run a difference here, okay. 
to create this kind of like a framing around uh, this element. Now let's go to F scroll and let's add more um, adds, add more bevel uh, segments here. It's gonna be smoother. There we go. And with this done, right? Let's just uh, you know um, with this done, we can keep stacking you know new new cuts. Yeah, I could run for example uh, you know a wedge cut here like this, right? And maybe something small on this side, right? See what I mean? And I'm kind of concentrating details around this area. And the same here, right? I could do the same thing, guys. So, you know, watch watch this. I could grab this. Um, so here I could run the cut, turn off the wedge cut, and press K for knife, and simply run the cut here, okay? And then grab this bit here, and, you know, Altium macro it right inside, okay? See what I mean? And then again, I'm concentrating details around this area and concentrating details around this area, okay? And this is literally all that you need to do. So when you're modeling something, remember to start big. Start with the big bones, start with the main shape, and then you can go to mid details. And this will tell you the direction in which you need to go. And also, if you need to change something, it's much easier to do it when you're working on a larger scale, because when you start going too deep, you may end up kind of, you know, shooting yourself in the foot because you're going to have to backpedal and remove all these details you spend your time on and basically the time is wasted, okay? And, you know, remember, you cannot buy more time, so the more efficient you are at your workflow, the better you're going to be. So practicing on small shape is actually a very good idea because, one, you need to come up with a new concept and, two, you know, you don't get tired or frustrated because it's a small project, you can, you know, nuke it, and start over another one, whatever. But, uh, you know, this is a fantastic way of actually training your brain to start understanding how uh, the basics of modeling work. And um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.